Danny, Z Storm, Adam, Sheen. Long ago, two players took a trip together in VR. Then, everything changed when the airplane crashed. Only Timmy, master of all six toy parts, could save them. But right after the accident, he vanished. Fifty days passed and Adam and I discovered some new friends, Danny and Sheen. And though their social skills are great, they have a lot to learn before they're ready to help anyone. Nom nom. But I believe together, we can survive the forest. These next 50 days were an interesting time as it ranged from having nothing to do Rainbow Rainbow Beating Rainbow to being overwhelmed with enemies And it's, another- it's, there's four of them guys Adam reset your trap I'm Reset trying. your trap I don't have the armor for this nope. This being in part to us actually spending 100 days in the forest unlike some other folks But if the last 50 days has taught me anything it's to cherish the friendships you have and share experiences together such as cultural religion, building a cabin in Adam's fishing oasis, and even graphically exploding chonky boys. Oh! These are the memories that truly make a family a family. Before we knew it, 10 days had flown by as the calendar struck day 60. Not wanting to waste any more daylight, we decided together that it was time to go look for the missing gun parts to build us a flintlock pistol. We commenced our journey back into the forest, but with ADHD running rampant, we got a little sidetracked. Sheen and Adam got stuck in a hole together, we visited the airplane, acquired some classic PTSD, and grabbed some bottles of booze. Sheen puked a lizard from his stomach, and we built a small log hut to protect us from the elements. Hi! I'll see you, my guy. <laughs> ah! But sadly, this wasn't going to save us from the grotesque, armsy friend who just wanted to give us a hug. Oh. Wrong shit sucks! Oh, <laughs> man. As an honest and hardworking group of friends, we just said no to hugs. Yeah, RMZ <laughs> sucks to suck, don't it? With the battle stretching into the morning of day 61, we started back down the beach and to our surprise, we found a gun part. They go, oh, I found a, a gun part hole. Dead every time we die. All right, all right. Oh, oh let me run back, please. Kablooey! We explored the cannibal huts, which didn't offer much other than a pile of cranberries. It's Wait, a no, pretty sick, sick at all. Oh. The beach was a bust, but leave it to Sheen to somehow still create a problem. No, so there's a... I now have a tennis ball and a shark head stuck in my hand. Driving deeper into the snowy woodlands, it was only a matter of time before we found our last gun part. Oh, I found a hole right here. Back up. Back up. Oh my dear lord. And oh yeah, that was the last part I needed. Naturally, I had to now ooga booga and blast something smaller than me with a high powered weapon, all while definitely not compensating for anything. Yeehaw, brothers. Probably. Bambi. Oh. <laughs> nice. And after that, we kind of got lost, so we set up camp for the night and went to sleep. We woke up the day 62, repaired our shelter, which gave us the handyman achievement. Oh yeah, that's an achievement, I got it. And then set back out into the frozen tundra. And to our surprise, we came across something we never thought we would see. Oh, yo, what is this? The front half of the airplane. How you doing, buddy? Hanging out? All right. Inside, I found a flare gun and a picture of somebody I feel like I have a connection to. But it's probably nothing. With our newly acquired flare guns, we needed to see what they were capable of for uh, emergency scenarios. Yeehaw. Oh my god. <laughs> that poor bird. Yeehaw. Oh, I shot that one out of the air. <laughs> Ow. 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 Who was that? Was that you, Adam? No. Was that you? No. Was it? Yeah, how does it feel? Don't make me end your career. 
You don't want your 60 days to go down the drain, do you? <laughs> <laughs> On day 63, we headed back home to get to cutting down some wood and fortifying our defenses even more. But I made one crucial oopsies when cutting a tree. How's your uh, fishing pond there? Oh no, oh no, why did it turn? Why did it turn? Why did it turn? I'm sorry! Oh. <laughs> We're, we are reloading. Adam built 10 blueprints for swinging rock traps, and we took the time to finish said traps, but their life was short-lived. Oh, perfect, let's eat the snack bar. Oh, oh god. It, it, oh, it, 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 oh. It's oh. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, I said that's... just try all of it. Bruh. <laughs> The day of funny numbers was upon us, and Sheen had a gift for our friend group to celebrate this momentous occasion. I have a gift for you. It's a whole rabbit. Perfect! Put it over here. Put it, just drop it in there. Press the trigger in this thing. <gasps> no! That is not the right button! You broke its neck. <laughs> well, that was short-lived. But all is not sad, as Sheen had this idea to build his humble abode, Fort Minecrack. I'm gonna build a house. Though some of us had some design idea disputes. Sean, just just know that if a corner gets hit, I'm all building of it. something for me. <laughs> <laughs> I talk pretty highly of this game in VR. Most things work pretty dang good, but one thing you will never hear me talk about working good is literally anything to do with the boats. I don't know how to go forward. I'm pushing forward on the joystick. Do oh, it's trigger. <laughs> Woo! How do I have to walk with the boat? But we needed to set sail to find some schematics we heard about hidden within the caves deep in the ocean blue. And not long after setting out, glistening under the moonlit sky, we found our first true diving adventure. So, we're going to water, I think. Woo! Oh, that's Yikes. fine. Though when we got in, it wasn't all that big, but it did leave us with a big reward. Guys, guys, we need- oh, oh. Aw, oh, this is what you've been waiting for, the roller coaster. Oh my god! Oh, yes! Oh, and somewhere in there, Adam picked up a snazzy suit. Where'd you get the snazzy suit? Yeah, I'm a what? Suit? Why do you look so, like, awesome? What? Why do you look so awesome? <laughs> I am the captain. Yeah. Wait, which led to him being a little crazed with power. Stop it! Yeah. Don't make me have to- <laughs> don't make me have to blast it, alright? This is- this is mutiny right here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fantastic plan. <laughs> but no worries, we were a ship crew and it was time we started sailing like one. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. With our spirits high and the tides calm as could be, we sailed our way straight into the next underwater treasure. Inside was a crossbow that takes way too long to reload and a useless church blueprint. Your respawn point. Oh, oh, boobs! There was boobs on there, too. I don't know what the yeah. boobs were. Adam drowned in the water due to there being no warning of low oxygen. But he went back and grabbed his items, then we hiked our way to a new cave to try and finish up the cassette tape achievement. Little did we know of all the fun things we would encounter here in this cave. We found a cool boat, and right behind that was the last cassette tape that we were looking for. I got them all. Once again, with a super boppin' tune. Oh! oh this is such a sick song! Ooh, this is my favorite one, I think. We headed deeper into the cave, phony runman cranked, blowing holes in walls, finding two math nerds with a calculator, a Chinese fortune cookie, baddies, cartwheeling babies, a pit of sleeping people, a Bakugan trading card, and some new clothes. What am I dressed like? Um, like you a have a doctor? Or a chef? It looks robe. like a robe. With the cassette tape achievement out of the way and day 100 approaching faster than expected, we felt we needed something stronger than our normal bows to fend off the enemy. And legend has it, deep within the hardest cave of the game, there's a compound bow of utmost potential. And we were going to get it. There's nothing we haven't been able to conquer as a team before, so this should be an absolute breeze, right? Oh, he sounds... Oh yeah, that's that's blue, alright. I swear to god, if you hit that on the... Yeah, yeah, there's it. I did it! Beep, 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 beep! Oh, send him- Oh! <laughs> I think ah! Why would you do that, Danny? <laughs> God! Daddy, no! Sliding past the first section of enemies without a scratch on us, we ran into our first big hiccup. A giant pit that would lead us straight to death if not navigated properly. And you have to parkour to the on the left oh side God. there. Oh God. Not even oh. Close. <laughs> Being careful of our every step on the shallow ledge, we made it to the bottom layer. <laughs> <laughs> 
then antagonize the new cave locals a little bit more. Oh, I know what this spot is. There's a bad guy over here, but we can't blow it up. Where is he? Oh, oh. Here he is. Right here. I got him. We quickly headed inside to finish the fight that we started, and were greeted with several armsies looking to give more hugs. There's two. There's two. There's two. There's two. I did not- oh, okay, apparently that hit Danny, not the spider lady. And, uh, Danny got caught in the crossfire a few more times. Danny, move! Danny- Danny, you hit the frickin- oh my god! Regardless of the hiccups, the locals were no match for flare guns and the power of no melee stamina. Thankfully, they left behind a diving pathway that would lead us straight to our goal, the Schmexy Compound Bow. Oh yeah, baby! And all its compound glory. We also found some lore in the cave. Oh, really look thing. at- what is this on the wall? Dude, there's- Come on. She's not dead, she there's is sleeping. Be a thing. Okay. Shh, oh, he's not dead. Oh, oh, she's <laughs> plus a pedometer and a tennis racket. We scavenged for a few loose items, then left the caves with words of encouragement from our dear friend Adam. So who's ready to sled into the pit? And for some reason, Adam actually did try to sled into this gaping pit. All right, brother, let's see what you got. Let's, I don't know why you want to do this, but you know, for cousin Eddie, <laughs> that's a fall. I'm dead. We are now 75 days in and going a little crazy as we have done most things we have needed to in this game. Rainbow. Rainbow. Whoa. Whoa. Reading rainbow. Yeah, this is a good Take one. a look yeah, yeah, in the horrifying yeah, cannibal yeah, forest. Yeah, yeah. It's a freaking yeah, rainbow. Yeah. But then we remembered we haven't gotten the katana yet and decided that would be a fun little journey to take on. So we set back down into the next cave that we found. And the second we enter, we are greeted with some terrifying sounds. Ooh. Is it right here? It sounds like it's really. <gasps> no, it's right here. No! <laughs> After taking out the 70 arm snuggle machine, we headed deeper into the cave and stumbled upon the glorious katana. There it is. There it is. Katana. Look at all this money. Oh my god. We found DB Cooper's dollar bills. We all added some poison berries to our blades to make them stronger, and Adam tried to stab himself. Guys, what does this look like? I discerned my family. A few moments later, Danny was outside of the cave for some reason, so we tried to signal her by shooting a flare up out of the cave. Hang on. Hey, buddy! Ah. Oh my god! I'm gonna let you die again. No! And I'm gonna take it close. After Danny was back inside, we dove deeper into the cave and found the climbing axe and chainsaw for Sheen, who still had never gotten them. Then, finally leave the cave and become samurais. Bang! Starburst! I like something's coming at them and they just. <laughs> Adam and I headed back to base while Sheen and Danny left to the snowy side of the map to go hunt for Captain Fluffles. We added to our tree platform supplies by building standing fires with arrow baskets. Today was day 77 and the mystical being known as the worm had not spawned yet. We were told it was supposed to spawn sometime after day 40 and we were getting a little bit worried. Oh, it's gonna be more scared. like it's gonna be really still and like, guys, I haven't seen any animals at all. Oh, no. Really long time. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Huge whoosh of wind. A whole bunch of tr bunch of the trees snap right off. And we're you look we're up. Huh. And then you hear a. <laughs> and then we all die. Waking up on day 78, we realized we didn't have the last schematic we had wanted, so we rushed back out to find them. We tried to go back to the yacht and use our newly found security card to open the door, but it apparently wasn't the right one. Beep, beep. We went and hopped in our sweet new houseboat as the regular raft sucked way too much to continue to use, but unfortunately a better boat doesn't make a better captain. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't what? turn it. Put it in a rock so we can't walk through the door. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What did you do? Eventually we broke free from Adam's navigational confusion and found the last place that we needed to go diving. Geronimo. Wait, that's Whoa, a book. what? Geronimo! Ooh, what is that? Oh. Entering the cave, Danny fell down the rope, followed by Sheen falling off of the same rope. How did you fall? I don't understand ropes. At the end of the cave was a room filled with Slenderman-like drawings, but we ignored all that because the sweet schematic for the hang glider was staring us in the face. Crash, bubbles, crash, this crash. is the hang glider! We got to hang glider. 
we have to murder all of the bats. It was now time to get back home and start building. This tower is so big. Oh, the tower tower. The, ta <laughs> the tower. The one, yeah. Look in our yard. <laughs> Oh my god. 317 logs later and our giant tower was born. All right, let's see it. Ba boom And then we climbed it to get a better view. How did we build this? Not a single nail. <laughs> Not a single nail. Oh, well, we use lots of duct tape. Whoa, that looks insane from up here. <laughs> Sheena, do you need to jump off? I triple dog dare. Oh. She, she was holding a torch and it looked like a lightsaber. It was great. Yeah, Alright, guys, amazing. here I come with a turtle shell. Alright, lighters out for Brother Whoa. Adam. Yeah. Oh. oh my I'm god! <laughs> I wonder if you can you hit the you hit the sled right here. <gasps> Adam sledding down the side of the tower gave me a great idea for another fun project we're gonna take on. A roller coaster to Fort Eincrad. I spent the rest of the day laying out the blueprint, then we all hit the good old snooze button. Waking up in the morning, we finished building the roof to Fort Minecraft and had a really big Drake and Josh moment. Hi. How, how are we gonna get out? Leaving Sheen to figure that out, I yoinked Adam's glider to try and take it for a test flight off of the tower. Nope, that's not the right button. Wait. Oh. And I crashed. But second time's the charm. Oh, okay, so pull back. It's inverted flight controls we got. What's up, Adam? Woo! Day 87 rolled around and we finally finished up the roller coaster. Okay. Booyah! It's done! It was time to finally take it for a slide. Adam was up first. Okay, we all got different views. Alright, brother. Beep. Have, have Beep. fun! <laughs> <laughs> then Sheen. Alright, come on. Oh come my on. god. Oh, come on. Yeah, 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 let's go! Let's go! Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> and then myself. All right, I definitely got this. There's nothing that could go wrong from this. Oh, oh come on, come on. I got it, I got it. How'd you make the turn? Needless to say, the coaster was way too fast and it needed a wall. Sheen and I decided it would be a great idea to try and bring a sled up the tower full of sticks for building said wall, and it went something like this. Oh, 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 please don't fall off. <laughs> please no. I'm still not there? How much more do I get to- Oh, how am I gonna make this turn? Oh, come on. Oh, sh- Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no! Please! <laughs> Please don't! No! No! Then later that night, Adam dropped one of his fresh Mountain Dews under his house, and he tried to go grab it, and he got stuck. Like, okay. I, I can grab it, but just nothing happens. By the morning, Adam was out and back to throwing explosives like a barbarian again. And just as I was trying to finish up my cannibalism achievement. Oh yeah, look at the family I got going on right here. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't eat all the family yet. I didn't eat all the family yet, Adam. No! Oh, I grabbed it last second. We then shifted gears to try and finish the log holder we originally built back on day 30. But like 90% of the things we do here in the forest, it didn't go as planned. Now into the render range. Um, all of them are in the water. <laughs> oh my god. Ow. Oh no. With the team saddened and time wasted trying to figure out why the log catcher didn't work, nighttime rolled around. This time with a few guests who were pushier than normal. Oh, 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 yeah, no, game definitely started catching up with it. Oh my god. There's another armsy, there's another bulldozer and an armsy over there. The cannibals were relentless, so we tried to hold them off just long enough for Danny and Sheen to get back to base. Oh, it did. Oh baby, dude, it's attacking. It is, it is not stopping. Oh god, it's, it's gonna come through. It's gonna break through. It. It's gonna break. All right, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Danny and Sheen made it back home safely, so it was time to finally get in our beds and hope that our defenses would hold until the morning. It didn't break through. It despawned. Hooray for. Realism. We were now at day 94, and with only six days left here in the forest before we had to head off on our last journey, the team was a little on edge. Hey, hey, what if this rock trap was- Oh, it went right through the rock trap. Would have been nice if it was there, ready to go. No, 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 no. The one time this rock trap would have helped us. 
What do you mean one time? That thing has killed more enemies than Sean. Help, bro. It's killed Sean more times than Sean's killed Sean. That's accurate. I then proceeded to build a zipline because I was bored. And during that exhilarating time, I got the Stepmaster achievement from walking 50,000 steps with the pedometer on. Then I gave the zipline a whirl. All right, here I come. Woo! Through the trees. Oh, it works. It works. Woo! Dude, it works perfect. Wow, one thing we finally built in this game that works. That's awesome. You can't fucking hit a tennis ball with a tennis racket. This game's stupid. And to end off day 98, Adam and Danny witness some bad guys helping one another. Oh, he's dragging away a person. Yeah, he is. Oh he's dragging what? away a person. What? He actually just dragged away an injured person. I saw it. Day 99 was here, and it was just a final wrap up of sliding down the roller coaster one more time and saying goodbye to all of our creations. This is uh, a cool place that we built within our 100 days here. Adam's sweet three-walled fishing oasis. I don't know if she, she never added anything to her second floor, but you put a bench here to jump in. <laughs> oh, you added, you did do the stair thing. It did work, yeah, huh? Yeah, you have to go up backwards. But like I said before, instead of just surviving to day 100 without Timmy and ending it, we figured we might as well go find him on day 101. I said I'm a bad father, not a monster. Bye campsite again for the 30th time. Bye big tower. Bye all the slides. Bye Fort Minecraft. Bye. Bye, Fishing Oasis. Bye, Fort Aincrad. I never finished you. Bye. Bye, the trees. You Bye. all. Goodbye. And with that, we are back into the forest. On to our final adventure as friends. Wait, scratch that. A final adventure as a family. There was bound to be more bumps than our path that lie ahead, but in all honesty, I wasn't worried in the slightest. We tackled 99 whole days in a forest full of flesh-eating monsters. This forest should be trembling when we walk through it, because there's nothing that's going to stand in our way. We headed back into the big open pit, ready to drive deep inside and find the secrets that have been haunting us every day. This proved to be a little more grueling than we had anticipated as both Adam and Danny slid into the pit and got knocked down. I needed your assistance. Oh! Why did you do it from there? I, I did stopped. it! I'm safe! But can you make it up to where I am? I don't know! This is fucking chaos. But I'm coming, Adam! Woo! <laughs> But we pushed on, fought some baddies, found a helicopter with a machete, played with a head crab, and found a deep diving hole at the center of the pit. Are you ready for the swim of a lifetime? These nerds are going to die. Oh, it, this is a pretty long swim. Well, hopefully it's not a three minute swim. How do I light my torch on fire? You have torch. to light the bottom of the of the yeah. of the rope. I found a picture of a key card. It's not the key card, I just found a picture of a key card. <laughs> Wow, it's like an NFT. Is Armsy this the breakout? breakout. Armsy breakout. Oh, sick. Oh. Watch this shit. Dang, dude. Oh shit. Ooh, this is. Wow, look at the ambiance, the skulls, the lighting. The, oh wait, why is the light red? My flashlight's red. <laughs> Why is my filled with the blood of our enemies? Oh, it is! We finally reached day 100 and I received the Bad Father achievement. Alright, let's take a look at our book. It is day 100, my friends. We are here. We have made it. We have, we have, I have survived to day 100. <laughs> Technically, at this point, we didn't have to go any further, but like I said before, we wanted to push through the cave to see what was waiting for us. And what lied ahead was pretty interesting. We found this big steel door and Sheen punched in the combo 69420 and the door swung wide open. Oh, no. uh oh. That's oh. a cool cinematic I can't see. The red yeah, room! I... From, what the? Whoa. Whoa. Right. We were bewildered by the inside of the structure and ended up in the vent system. Soon enough, we came across a cubby with some cool looking transformer toys. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Yo, this one's so much cooler than Timmy's toy. We continued on through the vents until we ended up in a cafeteria stocked to the brim with food and drinks. Like, oh, all the food! You guys want coffee? Yo, sick! Yo, you dude! Get, you guys can get coffee for free. We'll never be thirsty again. Oh yeah! Keep putting the money in for fun drink. <gasps> nice. What is this? This has like a living thing inside of it. Hang you on. Need one Hang on. Part. I'm gonna one take care watch. of it. One. I took care of it. Oh. 
We got some achievements, loaded up on supplies, and then continued on to the next ventilation system, which took us straight into the rainbow room. Let's go. Oh, dude, I'm a shank. Ooh, ooh. Um, rainbow room. Ooh, magazine. Yeah. Oh, oh it's, it's his rainbow, rainbow room. room. <laughs> By this time, we figured out we were in some sort of research facility, but it wasn't exactly apparent what was happening until we encountered this. So John character. is in a cocoon, and then he turns into a beautiful butterfly? Yeah, he is. John turns into a butterfly. Oh, what This is a guy. What is that? Oh, that's, that's John. Cocoon that's State observation two. room H. I guess Sahara was experimenting on people here on the island. And one of those whom we had seen through the tapes that we had found, a girl, Megan. All of this was still extremely confusing, so we kept driving farther into the compound in hopes to find some solid answers about Timmy and everything as a whole. Operate orientation slideshow. Click the slot next slide. Thank you. Longevity medicine through Jaria's project. Next slide, Object. please. What's this piece of paper? The this is a Dalek. Dalek. This is a Dalek from Doctor Who. There's a door right oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I get through the, she's like the like a like bird that. in the Windex commercials. <laughs> the next door slid open to reveal the Dalek we had previously found in the lab. There's do a. It, do you think it wants to eat your soul, Dan? Wait, wait, oh, but can I? I did something. Oh. Something. oh. Oh, not you. Inside was none other than our child, Timmy. Oh, Hang on, no, no. No, close die. it. Close it. Close, it. close <laughs> it. Put it. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. The child's being put down. Fluffles. <laughs> this is far from Fluffles. And now his tribe like parents, Danny, Sheen, and Adam, all had visions for his future. I'm like 20 feet away. I got away it. You think it'll work? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm on fire. So is the problem. <laughs> With Timmy clinging to life, we needed to apparently find a new source of blood to save his life. The oh man. Oh man. They weren't mining for iron ore here. They were mining for artifacts. <laughs> Why is every cool survival game and with aliens. We started back into the compound and eventually found a broken hole in the wall that led us straight into an open room with a little girl at the end. What do you mean don't die? Oh, this is a big, this is a big room. It appeared to be Megan from the tapes, but something seemed off about her. Maybe it was the blood covered face or the playing with toys all alone, but she just didn't seem to be all there. It was time for us to meet the real Megan. The bram. Oh, you crashed the airplane. That airplane was on the... What's with this game and crashing airplanes? Do you need do you need breathing? Oh, that's oh 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 oh! Kill it! Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! Oh oh! Yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh god! Ah! VR hacks! VR Hex! That is not a Megan! What happened to the child? Hang on, hang on guys! Guys, I got the, I got the... There, flare gun! Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh god! Wait here! Hey Megan! Hey Megan! Have one of these! Come here! Yeah! Yeah! Eat that one Megan! Eat it! Eat it nerd! Oh come on! Why is it a tiny explosion? Oh! 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 After fighting the flying helicopter child thing, she turned back into human form, and we decided to use her to help save Timmy. Yeah, take take it, take the thing. And I guess she decided to flop and spit out a golden key card instead. It's the forest. Nothing makes sense here anymore. Yes, well, she made a gold key card. We can stick children in here and get gold out. We took the key card and it opened a door in the lab that led us into yet another underground rocky cave that had an elevator at the end of it. I'm gonna touch the button. Push, the, push the butt. Oh, Sheen. Are you stuck? Okay. okay. Is there elevator music? Can I put my cassette down to give us Wait. elevator music? <laughs> yeah, mine is. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> 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 we did it! A hundred days! <laughs> and we were most definitely not prepared for what we found next. Look at that! We couldn't see this from down there. Don't give don't, me this don't, game. Don't question it. Look at how fancy this is. You know, it's you never know what they got. This is like when you ascend an arc. What the <laughs> hell? I told you! Aliens in every good survival game! Within this room, we were presented with two choices for proceeding forward. 
No, There's we have two. two we have two decisions. We go okay. to this main desk here, and we choose to shoot down a ship, another airplane with this giant cannon to save that rat in the room, or okay. we or we blow up the gun and we live out the rest of our days on the island. But you already know what we're choosing. I guess we are monsters after all. You know, like I said, I didn't sign up for this whole child thing. Goodbye, pain in the ass, son. <laughs> You just saved yourself a lot of child support. And now there's no second game. We single-handedly did that. But hey, at least no more budget airlines are gonna get blasted out of the sky. We were stuck here on this island, and I guess it was time to get used to living here with these goons. Later, bitches. But Destiny had other plans. Wait, what? Oh, how did we get here? When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got a right, I got a heart, I won't die, I'm a fight. I go down, bet I strike, I go hard day and night. Yeah.